On May 6, in collaboration with the Center for Urban Pedagogy, Uprose held a workshop on zoning in the Sunset Park area. The workshop was held in order to teach the community about what zoning is and how it affects them. With the use of visual tools, they were able to effectively teach the attendees about zoning in New York City and its direct effect on them. The one thing I keep on coming back to is where was the community and how can we get more people involved. It's not going to happen here in Sunset Park because you're going to be part of it. Which means that you have friends, you have family, you live here, bring them back, bring them into these sessions. This is not the last time we're going to do this partnership. In fact, we want to grow this partnership. So if you're part of other organizations, let us know. So uh, one of the things that uh, is of huge value for this workshop is the amount of information that the community is getting on the process for changing their community through zoning. And this is something that we need to de demystify and really empower community members from all ages, uh, from all backgrounds, from all incomes to be able to enter this very important process. In, in this particular case, and we do it in different ways with different uh, topics and different um, workshops, but for this particular one, the zoning workshop, we use the Legos, which I should say building blocks, we use the building blocks in order to uh, help people understand complex concepts like FAR. They build out the, the they build out according to the zoning rules um, their building in their neighborhood and then using the uh, building blocks and that helps them understand um, how these different pieces fit together and like all these different complex rules that affect their neighborhood. It's not like you're getting free affordable housing, you're paying for it in density and, and the size of the buildings in the neighborhood, right? Um, but that's like fundamentally how it works, it's like they're trying to motivate developers in order to get them to build affordable housing. Now, they've done this all over the city at this point. There's like there's dozens of these places where you can do this. In some places, it worked really, really well, like in Greenpoint, Williamsburg, along the waterfront, every single day. Well, the positive uh, effects of zoning really come um, from a couple different things, but they all require people power. So that's the one thing I want to say is that, is that the, better zone, the better the zoning, the better the people power. So we want people to get involved. Um, zoning really answers big questions for communities, like do we want to protect our manufacturing jobs spaces? Uh, do we want more housing? Uh, and these are the ways that are positive because people want some of these things. And so we want people to say, we want this, and now zoning can help us get there. Right. Um, the one really good thing about it is that as the law stands right now, it's permanent. Like this affordable housing is around forever, right? So like when it gets built, it's like kind of a good thing that it's gonna be around for all time, right? Whereas a lot of other programs, that's not true. Um, and the other key piece of this is that de Blasio is proposing to make this mandatory in one way or another, either in these zones or maybe over the whole city, depending on the size of the building. That's going to have to go through a big process. There's a few different proposals to rezone the area. Sunset Park has an industrial waterfront, and it is an industrial zone, this area, especially the area where Uprose is located. Because of the proposals to rezone the area, we want to make sure that people are informed what that means and how it will affect them. If the area is rezoned to allow private businesses, retail businesses, that's going to have a big effect on the existing industry. It's large blue collar factory type of work that could possibly be displaced with the new zoning. So we want people to know because folks work here, folks live here, and it's going to have a direct uh, impact. Center, like Uprose, we need something a little more larger um, so that our kids still have like a, a tutoring space or, or even that, that, that space to stay out the streets. And, and yeah, there, there's so much more that we need than, than a hotel. And it's not technically benefiting us, the community. It's benefiting those who want to come in and, and just like want to explore the community. And, yeah, it's not, it's not, and it won't be home no more. Right? I think what zoning is, is a very kind of technical term about how a city changes. And so um, it's, it's, it's really a, a way. Uh, and, and zoning uh, is new to the city. It, 1900s got pulled in and it's changing. And so as 
the city changes, the government changes, zoning changes too. Gentrification is a word that is used for communities that are experiencing rapid change. Um, and there's a lot of displacement that's connected with gentrification. Uh, there's a lot of changes that you're seeing in your community. Sometimes it's zoning, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's just market forces. And so for us, we need to understand it, unpack it, um, talk about our own experiences, and also talk about what we want in our community.